How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shitting, and welcome back to Muv Love Photon Flowers on Muv Love Monday. Oh, last time. Last time it was just a pain. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm so sorry. I, 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 they're both just, they're both terrible. Uh, Samika and Takaru, both just black. Now, uh, just a quick, like, uh, FYI, you're watching this. Um, I have been re pre-recording this one. I've got some stuff going on. I'm going to be unable to do normal recordings on my normal schedule. Um, so I'm just sending this one out there. Uh, if there's any, if, 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 if things are delayed, like there could be a couple gaps, I'll announce it on the Discord, which you can find links to down below or just on the channel. Like just little updates if like something's gonna be changing, if, if, if there's gonna be a delay or like a, like a week break or something. Hopefully not. I'm trying to work hard to make sure we don't have to deal with that because I, I want to find that balance. But um, I did ask for some comments uh, from the last episode, and so I may not reflect those yet because I, that video hasn't come up but by the time I've done this recording. So just keep that in mind. I, I might still make references to some of those thoughts, uh, but I, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll amend it in the future after I've gone through the comments. I really appreciate your comments, and I always click through them. I try and make sure to heart them all because, like, like, I want you to know I see them, and I want you to know that I pay attention. And I, I don't see every comment. Like, I'm thankfully at a point in my channel where I uh, I don't even get notifications for all the comments now. And, yeah, I get most of them, and I try and make sure to acknowledge, like, every single one that I see. So I, I, I look forward to reading your thoughts and uh, seeing what you think about all this. But for now, let's go right back into it. Where it's, uh, it's not looking so good. We're just going to have to see how this all plays out, but I don't know. It's just quiet, which is almost worse than all the sad music we had last part, so I'm terrified of what's going to happen. I really hope that they find a way to resolve this, but I'm not optimistic. I mean, I think it'll happen eventually, but like at this point, the writing's been so good, I genuinely don't know. I have no idea. And that's a sign of a good writer. We're like, there's a part of my brain where I'm like, well, of course they're going to end up together. It's me and talk to It's like... Like, Romeo and Juliet had less chemistry and, like, like coordination than these two. But at the same time, like, I genuinely don't know how they're going to overcome this. <laughs> because it feels pretty, pretty insurmountable. Like, kudos to the writers again. Man, and if, if you writers, publishers, or anybody are watching this, thank you again for letting me play through this game. And most importantly, thank you for letting it be a part of my life <laughs> by translating it into English. Like, it really means a lot to me. Because, man, man, what good writing. All right, stand and bow. Great, great. Me? Uh, uh, sure. For what? Am I in trouble or something? Oh, our hair's so long. Is she gonna tell us to leave? Oh, okay. I thought she was literally gonna walk us out of the school. <laughs> wow. Where are we go? The, the heck? What on earth is she taking me? I sent a plot. Hey, um... Uh, we're literally going in circles now. Alright, what's up? Seriously, what the heck? Wait, it's Sensei Timeout. Weren't we just here a minute ago? Who, where exactly are you trying to take me? I... I'm such a big fan of you, and if you weren't a teacher, I would be cheering for you and Takaru to seriously be a thing, because you're just awesome. And I'm sure we're gonna get to know her even better in the other timeline and all that stuff, but come on. <laughs> Something fishy is going on here. Really? you just noticing this because you're like, what, like in the ocean right now? So, so I'm going home. Whoa, what's your deal, Mary Machan? Mary Machan, is Yuko Sensei blackmailing you again? Bingo. Aww. God, that woman, what the heck is she scheming? 
And what are you supposed to do once 10 minutes are up? Yeah, this is all sorts of fishy, but you know what? I bet you it's gonna be Yuko Sensei in there, and she's gonna have some weird task for us, and Tamika's gonna be there, and we're gonna get locked in the room, like I said needed to happen from day one. Well, yesterday, like last episode. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right then, should we should be ten minutes right about now? Yeah, let's go see what she wants. And with that, our hero makes his great escape. Ow! 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 Oh no! I think we got our thumbnail for this video. <laughs> Ugh! She's serious. Dead serious. Alright, alright! Message received! It was just a joke. Calm down. It wasn't a joke, man. You would have gotten away if you could have. Good grief. Why is everything going to be a huge ordeal whenever Yuko-sensei is involved? I mean, I know why. It's because she feeds on other people's drama. Dang, she really made me feel like a dummy at lunch. What the f What fresh hell awaits me this time? Um, hello? Anyone home? ありがとう。よく来たね、白金。ああ。マリモもいいわ。どうして、坂木さんまでいるのよ。あんたには関係ないわ。じゃ、ご苦労さ。関係ないって。あのね、2人は。そうだったかき。面白い写真があるのよ
けど私はあえてそれでも情報し続けるべきだと思ったのよ。And why is that? 鏡さんの本心が見えてこないから。What do you mean? 白金くん、どうして鏡さんがあんなことを言ったのか、その理由はわかってるの ?No! I mean, I assume she just got some irrational hatred for people who don't eat things the right way or whatever. それだけであんな風になるかしら。普段の鏡さんからは考えられないわ。Yeah, yeah. Man, as much as I definitely don't think that me and Class Rep would ever get along, like, romantically especially, I think we could be friends. But I think the thing is, maybe it's because I kind of see a lot of myself in her. And I, like, that would be, like, we would be way too often on the same page. But I also think her methods are really, like, I would grind my gears. So it's like, we'd be too, we'd be too similar, but also just annoy each other. But, like, I, she's really. She's thinking things through and saying things in a way I probably would, as I think I did last episode. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's irrational, which is why it seems like such a non issue to you and me, but it's total blasphemy to her. Pretty sure that's all it is. Shirogane kun, Kagami san no honshin o kiki dashte mi tara? What? Ask other people what they want, th what they're thinking, rather than telling them what they're thinking? That works! Come on, Takaru, come on. No, I'm telling you, there's no reasoning with. Shirogane kun mo wakara nai desho? Dakara shiko ga mai muki ni nara nai da wa? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got it down. Ugh. Dang it. Class ref really knows how to hit me where it hurts. She's right. I remember asking myself these exact same questions. Man, isn't this like. This isn't like her. Would Samika really get this out of her steak sauce? Am I sure I'm not something else that's bothering her? But my frustration with her kept me from sitting down and really thinking about what that might be. Plus, I have no lead whatsoever, and Samika sure as heck wasn't giving me any hints. I knew that thinking about it would only make me more confused. It's funny, because I can give Takaru a lot of crap about this and be like, oh, I know all of this stuff, but you know what? At the same time, you gotta remember that everything, everything from the outside, everyone lives in glass houses, and we all think we know exactly what would be best for everyone else, but we often don't see what's plainly obvious in our own lives. I fall into this trap all the time. So while in this situation I can see clearly what Takaru should have done, I also very easily could have been in this exact same position, because you don't see things clearly when it's so personal and bald and there's emotions riding high, it's just you won't. So all of us likely fall into traps like this. Granted, I do think Takaru is being way blind. Like, more so than I think is reasonable for the majority of us. But, I have to admit that, like, something I probably didn't cover, and I bet you you guys gave me flack about in the comments, is the fact that, like, well, of course, in the situation, you're never going to see things clearly. Hmm. True. Fish, that's a way to say it. Oh, I can't even argue with that. I'm falling right into her trap. So she's right, uh, she's so right that I'm too embarrassed to admit it. I feel like I just got schooled. Well, <sighs> Props to Sakaki. She's, she got it nailed. She knows how this works and she's been doing a good job here. Sakaki,主人が多くて多くて。それで自分は冷静だって気取ってたんだから。笑えるわね。ね。That was kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> after, that, after that backfired compliment, I don't blame her. Good Again, she's like literally reading his brain. Ah, uh, she could tell that. I so she could tell I figured it out. あとはあんたの実践あるのみよね。というわけで。ナイスタイミング。入っていいわよ。I knew it. 失礼します。Hi. <笑> Tsumika. 入りなさい、鏡。
That's what this is. Quit putting words in my mouth that make sense. She'll never believe you. <laughs> this is a good place to be talking, though. Oh, so much better. Uh, before anything else, I need to apologize, and we can try and go from there. Sumika, I I'm sorry. I, I know I've really messed up, but you gotta forgive me. Okay. No! No. You should just say, no, I don't. Of course I do. It's totally ridiculous of me to get so defensive over a little soy sauce. From now on, it's all steak sauce for me. It's the only true way to enjoy pork cutlet. Man, it's gonna be hard to backpedal on this later. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. For now, I just need to get to her back on my side. There it is! Whoa, what? Huh? What do you mean? You're the one who said that having conflicting taste bonds could be a problem for us in the long run. Isn't that all there is to it? Now, Takaru, shut up and let her talk. I don't want to hear a word for the next 20 minutes minimum. Just let her talk. I don't care how stupid or ridiculous it sounds. Let her talk. Come on! I, uh... Seriously? You remember that ball I talked about? The ball of just emotions and stress and hopes and shattered dreams and, and unknowns and fears? Oh yeah, it all just was right there waiting to go wow! It's like a bug monster. Oh crap, this wasn't the game plan. But wait, could this be what Class Rep was talking about? Yes. I finally get a glimpse of how Simika really feels. In that case, I've got to coax it out of her. My bad. I honestly hadn't realized that. If you could explain it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Please, just tell me what's really bothering you. I need to know. Wait, why am I getting genuine de genuinely desperate here? I don't know, because you care? I thought this was all supposed to be an act, you know? Screw it, I don't care about saving face anymore. This whole thing is tearing me apart. I'll get it on my hands and my knees and beg if I have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this relationship has been a little one-sided, hasn't it? I know, trust me, I know. Mm hmm Yeah, I, I recognize that, and I really appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? What do you mean? Oh wait. <coughs> I'm just. I'm literally choking on this. Um, if you're saying I need to stop being so demanding of you, then yes, I totally agree. So yeah, Takaru, your biggest flaw here. You were barely even looking at graduation, which is a month away. She's like family, life, 60s, 90 years of life. She's thinking long term, bro. But why? I mean, I get the gist of what she's saying, but she's clearly worried about something in particular. If it was just about me being selfish, I would totally understand, but she's saying it's not. So then what is it? Oh, come on, you gotta give him something. Fetch. Is, is that a sustainability thing too? I am totally stumped. Wait, wait! Please, just this once, explain it to me now. I, 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 and I swear, you won't have to do it again. Come on, I'm begging you here. I don't care if I look like an obvious Jack. You can't, you can turn, look down to me if you want. 
But I hate it as much as I hate to admit I'm too stupid to figure it out on my own. I'll solve it by myself next time, I promise, please. Oh man. Oh, fetch. I, 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 like, it's gone dark like I've gone, like, like, it's on pause. No, he's, he's, like, blacking out. How can he be like that? Can you see what's gonna happen to us if this keeps up? Heck, we're already on the brink of destruction here. This feels so much more dire now than it did yesterday, or even earlier at lunch. I'm really starting to panic now. And yet you're still throwing out ultimatums? Are you that unfazed by the implications of this? Hold on! Tamika, don't you see what this is doing to us? If we can't fix this, we're done for. Say something already! I don't want this to end like that! I'm so- I'm begging you! Please, once, you've got to tell me what's wrong! Ooh, you know what? I get what she's saying, but I kind of get what he's saying, too. Because, like, where is he supposed to go with this? Like, I feel like he doesn't know hardly anything, except for the clue of sustainability, which might be enough to help him, but I get why he's panicking. One of the worst things about my first major breakup with the first girl I really felt like I loved is that to this day, I still don't know why we broke up. Like, I got platitudes, but I really don't think that was the crux of the problem, and I never got an answer for it, and it drives me crazy still. Like, it's not as big of a deal anymore now, I've very much moved on, but it, for a long time, it was a, like a like a burden on my back. I don't care if it makes me a thick-headed loser, I just don't want... What do you mean? So you're saying you'd rather just get it over with now? Then you should tell me! I don't know what's bothering you, but I may not be as big a deal as you think. Oh, you idiot! Why are you saying that? Maybe you're just assuming it is, and then the other girls can reassure you that's not. Yeah, it does. Doctor, you suck. Sneak up. Alright, alright. You know, she's definitely not been handling this very well, but she definitely, like, in this argument here, she's got the winning points here. She's, she's freaking right. Are you, are you kidding me? You're the one being stupid. Ah, I just want to drill my brain out right now. This whole time you've given me nothing but cryptic answers. Is this some sort of test? Am I being quizzed right now? I don't know, but I can't think of any other reason why you wouldn't be able to tell me. She's also got a point there. Quiet class rep. Shut up. Who said I was agreeing with her? It's true, but like, honestly, for these two, like, I think it, it has to happen. I think they have to just explode and get it out of their system. And then, you know, if they're mature enough, they can come together. If Takuru thinks things through and actually knows what he's apologizing for. And if she can get over the fact that maybe he genuinely is really clueless. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's no answer. Excuse me, I'd like to see you try, you try talking to a brick wall without getting frustrated. Oh man, again, they're both terrible people. They're both so... Ah! You're not the one to talk, class rep. You do the exact same thing with the Yamane. You really don't mean that, though. 
Hey, get back here! Just gonna run away from your problems? Hi, stop. But sensei! <laughs> oh, it's over. Fetch! Oh, I'm in pain! Oh, I'm in pain! Oh, I'm in pain! Oh, that hurt me! God. He's lost every round. He's lost all the rounds. She's lost them too, but he's losing them worse. What? I genuinely think that I might not get it because I feel like my answer to what's been going on here is too simplified. The fact that she's got all these worries and doubts, like, I think that's part of it. And I think the big part of the worries, doubts, and sabotage is the fact that they're like, like, how are this, like, Taku has not brought up future. He's not brought up, like, like, plans in university. He's not brought up, like, continuing relationship. He's not brought up marriage. He's not brought up kids. He's not brought up anything. And if she has to, like, tiptoe him around every little thing, explain every little detail, that's not sustainable. She's going to burn out. But maybe there's more to it than that that I'm too dense to see. But for me, that should, that's enough. Fetch. I, I wouldn't have even given a Takaru like person the time of like like I would have maybe gone on two dates with Takaru or like a Takaru equivalent and then I would have given up. In fact I did give up on several girls for this very reason because like there was no longevity. Um, it felt like I was being like like I mean I understand like the tradition of the guy stepping up for dates. I have no problem with that but at the same time I think that relationships are two-way streets. And it felt like I was the only one contributing any energy into a relationship. I usually walked away from it. Because for me, that seems to be pointless. You know, especially early on. Early on is the easy part of the relationship. If you can't be working on a team and you're not willing to learn and grow together in the first few months even, just a tiny bit, then it feels like there's no point in putting the energy in. Ugh, man though. The only good thing I can say is that they obviously still care a lot because they're so emotional. If they had been really passive, been like, well, whatever. You know, Takaru's attitude when he kind of like broke in the in the courtyard, that scared me because that is what would kill a relationship when he just if he just stops caring. If they stop caring, then it's over. So far, the shouting match shows they care, but it's not going to last much longer at this rate. They're burning all their fuel. What hints? There was literally no, there wasn't nearly enough information there to make me figure it out. So? Huh? You mean, you know what's bothering her? Okay, so she still doesn't quite know. Mm. I think the key is sustainability. Samika so is thinking big picture, and Takaru is barely even seeing the end of his nose. So, so do I... How can the complete bystander figure it out when I'm still totally clueless? And she looks pissed off now, too. Yuko sense that, come on. You are a genius. I don't see how any of that could be called abundantly clear. I think I might have got it then. Sweet. I also I think if it's long term stuff and like planned, it's true. Because telling him will just mean that he's just going to be like, oh, everything, we'll make everything better. And a month later, he'll be like, not actually putting any thought into it. Because that's exactly how Takaru handles stuff. Oh, come on! Yes. Hmm. Hey, she wasn't asking you, class rep. Sensei. Kagami Kagami
Well, I definitely used to think so, but now I'm not so sure. Kagami ga ima anna koto o iidashita no wa, sore ga riyu yo. So shite, Sakaki ga kizuka nai no mo ne. Oh, because she didn't realize that Takuru doesn't like steak sauce, it also makes her wonder if, like, she genuinely doesn't know who he is. Huh? Hai, kyo no event wa awari yo. Sa, kaeta kaeta. What does what's being the best friends have to do with it? Um, because something that's like kind of a big deal to, to like, so yeah, it got blown up of because Samika assumed and he assumes that they just know everything about each other. And yet she missed a very critical thing about something he likes to eat and how he doesn't like steak sauce in a certain type of food. Something that's on the surface seems trivial, but it symbolizes the fact that she actually doesn't know everything about him. And that freaks her out. Ooh, because then she starts wondering, like, well, wait, what if he doesn't, like, oh, <gasps> and that might be what freaked her out about it, ultimately. It's because she's been operating under the assumption that he wants what she wants in the future, even though he's never brought it up. But then she put it together, wait a minute, what if I don't know that for sure? And the fact that he's never once brought it up and barely can even admit that we are dating... What does that imply about our future? Like marriage and kids and longevity and sustainability. If I don't even know that he doesn't like steak sauce on his rice, how can I possibly know if he's actually invested in this when he's never talked about it? Bet you that's what it is. Oh, I think I got it. I bet you I'm wrong too, because I tend to be wrong, but I, this is my this is my official guess here. It, I, I think I was really on the right track, but I think Sensei's little clue there put it together for me. February 19th, man. Fetch. Man, why is it so crowded here today? It's not even a weekend. Probably because TQ Arms is a pretty excellent place to kill time, I guess. I'm trying to look in the background if there's any characters that, like, look like people that we see, like, from other games. But so far, I haven't really seen anybody, like, overtly. But there's also a lot of very specific design like choices. Like there's the girl in the in the pink skirt right there. She's got like like a handbag. Like she's got a hair clip. Like those are some very specific details. And then there's like a guy with or like like orange hair, red hair with like a cowboy hat on. Interesting. Oh oh no 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 over the right side. There it is on the on the on the pillow. I'm glad I took the photo. So on the right side there's the fire extinguisher. Um. And you can see like the shady dude with his, with his beanie cap on. But behind, it's somebody who's dressed up in the sneaky stalker outfit from the from the main game. Who is that? Is that going to be class rep? Like kind of keeping an eye on us? Oh, there's others too. Oh, there's three of them. Fetch, how did I not see all three of them? Okay, okay. So whatever's going on here, we have three observers, which I'm gonna guess will be um, Tama, Ayamane, and uh, class rep. Well, we'll see. Uh, you can spend the entire day here wandering around and not see everything. Alright, so, Tama, remind me again what we're looking for here. So, it's not her. And who are they? Roger school, uh, Roger school got out. She dashed over and asked if I'd be willing to go shopping with her on the way home. A pretty unusual occurrence by all accounts. In fact, I think she, this is the first time we've ever hung out one-on-one. -on -one. That's sad. So, who are those three? What? A present for Samika? Hmm. I mean, yeah, so I mean she'd ever accept it. I don't know. I still think we might already be too far gone for a gesture like that to work. It's not gonna fix it, but it might get you in the right direction. So I guess I can't know for sure, so it's probably worth it. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I get it. Dang, she really is worried about us. Speaking of which, what the heck happened to class rep? She didn't say a word to me today, even after Yuka sensei enlisted her to help me out. In fact, it feels like I hardly saw her in the classroom at all today. Huh? Oh no, not at all. I'd really appreciate the thought, actually. Yeah, some kind of present could definitely help tip the scales in my favor here. I mean, it certainly couldn't hurt, right? Uh, it could. Because sometimes the worst thing you can do is be trying to buy your way out of problems. 
I know from experience that she's got a weakness for material gifts. She's always giving misty eyes whenever I give her anything. Well, that's because it came from you, not because of the gift. <sighs> what an idiot. In these darkest of times, the knowledge could prov prove a powerful asset. And this will be a good way for me to simmer down and get my mind off things, too. I know full well I've got pretty good short temper, and I have an extra, ha extra hard time controlling my anger when Samika's the one on the receiving end. Just look at what happened yesterday. Even when I actively marked an, ma making an effort to follow class rep's advice and keep my cool, I still blew up at her. Her attitude just immediately set me off. Now in my defense, if I had been, say, Tama instead of Samika, I never even dreamed of doing something like that. Here's the thing that's really interesting, too, if we think about this, is like, is Samika gonna be bothered by him spending one-on-one -on -one time with the other girls? Probably not, but in her state, maybe it would bother her that it's like feeling like he's just moving on. Not that we'd ever get in a fight like that to begin with. The only other person I can see myself getting that confrontational with is class rep, because I have. Oh, neat. What is it, a kaleidoscope or a necklace? It's kind of cute. Took the word right out of my mouth, Tama. Yeah, that's actually pretty classy. Maybe it's a bit too classy for Samika, though. It's gotta be much more... It's gotta be, it's gotta be much tackier than that. Mmm, the Duzzy. Okay, enough thinking about the fight. Let's just focus on pleasant things for today. See, yeah, now we're talking Samika's language. So I really want to go all out. We should just get her a ham or something. No, like the meat from a pig. Samika's not exactly a picky eater, but I don't think she'd go for a rodent. He's like, oh, of course. And he's like, I was being serious. Well, how about some laundry detergent then? That's a practical effect. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Takaru. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll start looking seriously. Now I'm finally starting to feel like myself again. I feel like I haven't been able to joke around like this since, well, since any, this thing, since things went south. Man, why'd this have to happen to us? What I can't figure out here is what's going on through Sumika's head right now. This happened with her before. Anything, I couldn't tell what was bothering her. It was unusual because she was throwing a tantrum and wasn't thinking straight. But she's been legitimately upset for days, and no matter how hard I think about it, I just can't figure out why. To be honest, it makes me really frustrated with my own stupidity, I mean. Sure, I was frustrated with how Sumiko was behaving at first, but the more I think about it, the more I'm starting to feel like I'm the one with the problem here. <laughs> oh, my bad. Didn't mean to space out on you. Right. Gotta keep searching. <laughs> And I hope so. Yeah, I know. Now, come on. Let's see what else I've got. Interesting. Wait, is that what I think it is? Well, I'll be darned. Now, there's something I haven't seen in a while. What is it? You ever see those old shows, Space Cap Pilot Captain Groban? Well, this is what the bad guys look like. They're called space terrorists. Oh, hey, and it's one of those inflatable punching dolls, too. Man, I used to love these things. You can hit them as many times as you want, but they never stay down. I remember bugging my mom to buy me one of these, so at the time, this would have been about the same height as me. Man, there's been a huge resurgence of merchandise for old cartoons and superhero shows recently. I'm surprised there's still a market for it. Yeah, it's actually true. Heck, they're even showing reruns of all the old Ultraman series on the basic cable now. Ultraman. Ultraman. And every time I go into the convenience store, I see all these gimmicky candy dispensers based on cartoon characters that were popular when my dad was a kid. Yeah, take that, villain! Wait a second. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. This would be a perfect stress reliever for Samika. Anytime I see her charging up her drilly monkey punch, I just put this thing out and boom, problem solved. Now. Hmm, should I buy it? She's Tama, having fun over there? Oh, see, I think she's bottling up her emotions too. 
Didn't think she'd be that captivated by it. Most of kids our age wouldn't be bored after five seconds. Huh? Did she grab onto it and is now going back and forth? Wait, I've got it! This is just like a cat toy, isn't it? That's why she's so irresistible to her. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. You okay, Tama? Jeez, kid, you sure you're not actually a cat? Oh, was I being mean? Ah, uh, man, it feels good to laugh again. There they are. You're gonna be all right. Look, there's an open bench over there. We can go sit down. Take a breather. You need to. Why fast? Yeah, about that. I feel like this punching doll might do the trick. What do you think, Tama? It's pretty perfect, if you ask me. Well, does it have some sentimental value for us? <clears throat> Since we used to play Gorbon all the time, but I can also use it as a meat shield for whenever she gets violent on me. That's one of those sentences you're like, you read, and you're like, hmm, maybe that's something to be considered about their relationship too. So I'm not sure how I feel about employing terrorists to protect myself. Fair point. Yeah, I was just kidding. Let's just take a quick break and buy and and then move on to the next apartment. He wasn't kidding though. Hmm. Hmm. A chihuahua plushie? Huh. Oh, it's certainly adorable, but I don't know. It seems a little too generic to me, I guess. So this go. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I had read get her something more original, you know. Demo. Bit too much, yeah. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to buy her some mass-produced thing you could find at any old gift shop. You've got that right. That's why I've been having such a hard time picking something out. Hmm? What's up? Oh, yeah. Well, where the heck does that come from? Dang it, Tama. Don't say crap like that. Oh, Come on, don't make this weird. Oh, great, I'm probably blushing up a storm now. Assuming the storm never ends, that is. Yeah, I know. Let's see. This looks like the keychain aisle. Man, all this stuff's so boring and predictable. Come on, find it. Find it! We're gonna find that bunny rabbit. Wait a sec, I think I recognize this one. Heck yeah, it's the glass to uh, Tororo keychain. Wow, never seen one of these before. You really find this. You, can, you really can find this guy's face on just about anything, huh? I still remember Sumika asking Santa for one of these massive Tororo plushies back in the day. Wait, that's it! Genius. Took you this long? Hey, Tama, wait here for a minute. Don't worry, I'll be right back. How did I think of it sooner? Alright, cool. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, but hey, I found the perfect present. Yep. What could be better than a new Santa rabbit? I mean, we were already planning to go buy one together last weekend. Yes, I know, it's just another keychain, it's not the most original gift. But I can think I can safely say that it would be the most meaningful one to her right now. Maybe, but I also think she'd be disappointed she didn't get to go with you. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Tama. Pet pet, you pet pets. Hey, I know. How about I buy you a little something as a token of my gratitude? What, you don't want me to? 
I want to buy you a present too, Tama. What's wrong with that? <laughs> and Shimika might be over there watching. Oh, don't worry about her. I just want to thank you, that's all. Thanks to you, I'm feeling like my old self again. I found a great present for Sumika to boot. Alright, knowing Tama, I can already guess what she's gonna pick. Something cat related, no doubt. You think I don't know you see your game, Tama? Buy your tail here too, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely see some good candidates over here. Eh, it looks like something's already caught her eye. Wait, is that what I think it is? It's another punching doll, but specifically designed for cats and with a teaser wand dangling off the top. She could die. <laughs> Look at the one with the packaging, she's completely under its spell. What a terrifying piece of merchandise. <laughs> if that space terrorist didn't want enough to trap her in an infinite time loop, then I don't even want to know what this one might do to her sanity. If I let her take this thing home, I might never hear from her again. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I, that thing's a disaster waiting to happen. Can, can't you pick something a little more kid-friendly? This is supposed to be a thank you gift. I'm not about to buy you a sampler pack of heroin need needles. I, I, I won't do it, I tell you. It goes against my moral code. <laughs> Hey, what's that over there? It's another teasing wand, but for a mouse toy hanging from the end? I see, so it's like a fishing rod for cats. You lure them in with a tasty treat, and then while they're distracted, you swoop in and kidnap them. The perfect tool for any cat burglar. Wait, no, that's just as bad! I'm not trying to lure Tama around and force her to do my bidding. That's feline oppression. I want something that'll empower Tama. with all the cat positive toys? Uh, speaking of Tama, where is she? Tama, where'd you go? Perfect. 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 W what? Yeah. Oh no. It, it's like they were made for her. Whoa. Nice paws. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm pretty sure there's not a single person on earth who could rock those better than her. Man, you've got the ears, the tail, the bell, and now the paws. You're basically a full blown cat slash furry at this point. <laughs> It looks super soft, can I feel? Uh, um, oh yeah, they're like pillows almost. <laughs> uh, Tama, what was that noise? <laughs> yeah, we're stepping in the inappropriate territory here. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh yeah? You like that? Well good, because it feels great for me too. <laughs> Come on, Tama, meow for me. Let me out you're in a feline. Alright, alright, Taku. Come on, come on, chill out. Oh, bitch. Wait, that voice. Oh no! Now, hidden figures. Hidden figures. Are the other two there, or is one of them her? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Sumika! Oh no. What? No, I was just, uh, more importantly, what are you doing here? Oh no. Mikado? So they, they both were trying to take us out to try and get presents and stuff, I'm guessing. <laughs> Why does the universe hate Takaru? Why? Whoa, 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 slow down, buddy. What does it sound like you're reading off a script? Something fishy's going on here. Oh, shut your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, 
Kano. <laughs> no, Makoto, stop talking. How do you know about that? It wasn't me! Huh? I had nothing to do with this! Oh no. I just told you this wasn't my idea! Yeah, unfortunately... Oh man, the universe just hates him! No, I do, of course I do, but that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to do anything nice for you to say I'm sorry. Quit talking. A new wallet? You know what? I don't think you deserve a thank you gift anymore. Give me those. And then you three! <laughs> Thanks for nothing, you guys. Now I've got an even bigger mess on my hands. That was supposed to be my ace in the hole, and you two somehow managed to make it backfire on me. I'm going home. Keep it. It's all yours. Alright, fine. No, I think I'm supposed to do. I don't even know what to do anymore. Why does it keep getting more and more complicated? I'm starting to wonder if this is really a lost cause. Although I do remember telling Samika that if I were to ever get a new wallet, this would be the one. She must have remembered that, and decided to get it for me herself. And clearly she's still hopeful that we'll make it through this. But the ball's in my court, so if I can't figure out what she's trying to say here, well, I guess she won't have much of a choice. And unfortunately, I still haven't the slightest clue what she could possibly be thinking. I've never seen her get this so in introspective in my life. Which is why I was trying to clear my head today, so I could hopefully see things from a more objective point of view, but that backfired spectacularly, of course. <sighs> this blows, dude. That old me would have given up on this mess eons ago. In fact, I've kind of been a quitter my whole life, haven't I? That's very big of you. That's not gonna fly this time around. I know I'm dense, and I know I've got a short temper. Heck, I'll even admit that I'm lazy, but I'm not giving up this time. Remember, Takuro, you had a cho choice in this, and you chose Samika, knowing full well that you'd be hunting someone, uh, hurting someone else in the process. How do you think Maya would feel if she found out you broke up over some bullcrap like this? I'm kind of cool that he even thinks about her still. I wonder if she's ever going to make an appearance. Man, if only I could remember to tell myself that when I'm actually looking Samika in the eye, maybe then I'd be more patient with her. In that case, I've really got to figure something out here. Man. Yeah, size, right. But that's where we're gonna end for today. Fetch. Fetch! What the heck is going on, man? What a nightmare. Just an utter nightmare. The universe just hates Takaru. It hates him so much. But still, there's hope. They both want this to work out, so, like, there's a hope. I think it will. Like, I hope it will. I have faith that it will, but man, it does feel like the hole just keeps getting deeper before it's getting fixed. 
But we'll have to see you next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thanks for joining me on the channel. I'd love to read your thoughts about this one. What are your, like, what are your comments? What do you think of my theory? Do you think I'm on? Or, well, don't spoil it. If you know, don't say anything. But, like, if you are if you don't know, like, what are your thoughts about it? Um, and then, God, that Tava thing. Oh, man. It kind of, it's, it, 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 like, part of the problem is the fact that they all have crushes on him. At least, like, maybe not acknowledged, but, like, they all have like, feelings for him. It's like, that makes this difficult, too. <sighs> Man, what a mess. But anyway, we'll just have to save the rest of it for next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thanks for joining me on the channel. As always, it's a pleasure to have you here. And until the next video, you're watching me. Have to see me next. I'll see you there.